video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, get off of iOS 6 beta 1 uh, if you guys are stuck on it without a jailbreak um, there is a jailbreak for this guys uh, but it is a, a, a root access only which means you can SSH and uh, have root access to your uh, device which is mainly for developers and you might not want to do this jailbreak but if you do um, I will put a link in the description uh, to a video that shows you how to do that if you are on the A4 chip devices that is not included as the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, nor the iPad 3. So if you have anything uh, other than that, other than those, you can do that uh, on iOS 6 Beta 1. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get off of iOS 6. And if you guys want to get on iOS 6 because you're on iOS 5.1.1 now, click the annotation on the screen right about here somewhere, and it'll bring you to my video on showing you how to get to iOS 6. So let's go ahead and get started into this. I'm just going to show you that I am on iOS uh, 6.0. Okay, so right there you guys see iOS 6.0. That's my version. And uh, also if I go to software update, and again it'll show you that I'm on iOS 6. iOS 6, the software is up to date. Alright, so you guys got the proof that I'm on iOS 6. So let's go ahead and get right started. Okay, so now what I'm going to ask you to be doing is go down to the description uh, down below. And I want you to download the... Um, uh, iOS 5.1.1 uh, firmware for your device, whatever device you're on. I have mine right here on my desktop, right here that I'm having right here, and uh, so that's what you want. And, um, and then plug your device into your computer. And if you're on a Mac computer, you want to go ahead and hold uh, Shift or Alt. And if you're on a Mac or Windows computer, you want to hold Shift. So I'm holding Shift down because I'm on a Windows. Open, uh, click on Restore as soon as you do that. Find where your uh, IPSW is for your device, so I'm going to find my iPad 2 is 5.1.1 IPSW, and it's right here. So we'll go ahead and open that up, and then just click restore right here. So I'll just let you guys see that it does say for iOS 5.1.1. So there you go. And we're just going to go ahead and click restore now. Okay, so it is extracting the software up there at the top. You guys could also see where my software version says 6.0 right here. And uh, yeah, just uh, to show you that I am actually on 6.0, even in iTunes. So, and it is extracting the software. And if you guys were wondering what iTunes I'm on, I'm on iTunes 10.6.3. This is the uh, beta version of the newest iTunes, which you gotta use to get on iOS 6. You can also use it to downgrade off of iOS 6. So as you guys can see, uh, it's starting to restore, and my iPad is uh, restoring. <clears throat> So it says preparing the iPad for restore and the iPad is in recovery mode. That is normal. Okay, so that is now starting to uh, restore. So the restore is almost done, guys. As you guys can see, uh, it's really just about done. <clears throat> and uh, as soon as this is actually done, we are going to uh, I'm going to be re jailbreaking my iPad again. And if you could, just in case if you guys don't know how to jailbreak on the uh, new. Uh, 5.1.1 5 firmware. I'll put a uh, annotation on the screen now, uh, like right around here somewhere. Just go ahead and click it. I'll also put a link in the description to my jailbreak video on iOS 5.1.1, just in case if you guys don't know. Okay, so my iPad is booting up now. So we are in the iPad's activation screen, so we'll just go ahead and get through this real quick. Uh, English, next. United States, next. Enable local services, yes. Uh, we'll just go ahead and skip the Wi-Fi step here, so I'll just go ahead and click next, because you can skip it. And uh, we'll set up as a new iPad, yes. Agree to Apple's terms, agree. Uh, automatically send start using iPad so here you guys go we are in uh, iOS 5.1.1 now we are right off of iOS 6 I'm gonna go ahead and show you that again so there we go iOS 5.1.1 is now my version as you guys can see here 
Also, if I go to software update now, it says uh, unable to check for updates because I'm not on my Wi-Fi. So let me just go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi right quick. Okay. And logging into the Wi-Fi, unable to check for update. Checking for software update failed. I don't know why it did fail. It shouldn't fail. I mean, I just typed in my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is on. And let me do that again. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I was failing before, but there you guys go. Five point I was 5.1.1. Your software is up to date. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to downgrade your uh, iDevice off of iOS 6 Beta 1. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you guys uh, missed the, any of the uh, annotations or links that I put on the screen, go ahead and check the description. They should all be down there as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.